Hello world, how's it going? So, I'm sitting here editing the last video I just shot live for you guys. So it still does usually take about an hour to do a video. And then my shell dwellers are over here engineering the tank a little bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys live. We'll see if we can get them in action. As you see in this front corner here, they've actually been building up a sand wall yeah two in one night why not i mean i figured they don't do this very often and since the live did come out really good on this last one i think i figured out a way to hd copy it so it actually comes out better for you guys uh there you can see on over in the corner in the tank she somebody just picked up some sand about to take it but yeah i figured why not sitting here editing the about to do the thumbnail and they don't uh do it often so i'm just trying to sit still until they actually do it it's, it's pretty cool i'm glad i ended up putting it on the end tank here so i could watch these guys that's the thing about these shell dwellers which these are the multi fasciatus which is a dwarf african definitely dwarf this i think this is about as big as they get now, I don't know if they try to bury each other or why they uh, move all that sand in the corner like they do. They've done it a couple times. <clears throat> yeah, it's sad about the uh, red guppy too, but you know what? Uh, stuff happens. Hopefully get it fixed. These guys are probably being shy. I don't think they really see me though because usually they would hide in their shell. Oh, I did find a baby in there. Actually, my girl was looking in the tank the other day. Did find a baby in there. I think they do know I'm here now. Oh, yeah, I'm busted. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. Well, might as well check them out. Show you what they've been doing. So what they keep doing is they keep grabbing sand from around here. And they're building tunnels all through these shells. And they keep spitting it up over here. Seems like they're getting a little, uh, a little more calm about being around me. It's good. Definitely a cool, fun fish to keep are these shell dwellers. Definitely, I don't know if they're species only. I haven't really tried any other fish in here. Looks like they got some extra food. I gotta watch that. You gotta watch that extra food. That's why I like the tropical granules, as you can see if they're still on the ground or not and whether they're eating them. But you don't want that to fungus in your tank. That could be a big issue and that could cause all kinds of problems. Maybe we'll get lucky and a uh, little baby will come out. You can see they're pretty plump. Been building sand up here on these shells. But the baby was decent size. I only seen one. Looks like a fun tank for them. Lots to keep them busy. Yes, definitely fake name. Thanks, Eric's Fish Room. I appreciate that. Hmm. Well, come on, guys. Where's your babies? Makes me wonder, like, I'm guessing more shells you have, the more the community can grow. I'm thinking I don't know kind of want to sit back and see if they'll spit that sand out again because it's really neat to watch them actually so I'm just sitting here about to do the thumbnail for the uh, last video and you can just see them going in these shells here and they just kept throwing it up there they go up with the whole mouthful and, whoosh, whoosh. and they've pretty much done that by day I don't know how long they've been at it, but they've been at it for a while. So we're gonna chill out here for a second. I mean, I've only been on here for four minutes or something. So if you got a question real quick, let's answer some questions and we'll see if they actually start building it Why we're live. Yes, we are live, Nando. So you guys can interact with me while I'm here. Eric's Fish Room, hey, I sent you an email with my contact information so we can keep in contact and possibly trade guppy lines in the future. Awesome, Eric. 
uh, I'll check that out after a while. I'm still trying to get through some of my other emails. Take some time, but I'll definitely get to it. I don't, I don't ever skip emails. I try to get to them all. Yeah. So what is the minimum tank size? Ah, this 20 high seems to be working pretty good. I guess 20 longs will work pretty good. You know, more space, the better always when it comes to fish. They're, they're starting to check out their pile again. They're like, all right, Johnny. All right, Jimmy, let's get back to work. We gotta get back to building this pyramid over here in this corner so we can contact the food guy again. My leopard Danios are breeding. Awesome, Nando. Glad, glad to hear it. Swag Skywalker, aka Nerd Boy Aquatic, says, Are there any blue caradinias that could look like a Neo? Hmm. Uh, yeah, some of them extreme blue bolts. They're very rare to get them that color. Oh, yeah, see them right there. Just spit it out. Just spit it out. Awesome. See, now they're going into town. Like, man, this guy slowed down production. We gotta catch up. But yes, extreme blue bolts. Uh, very rare to find, but Robert Jackson Harkey Jr. You can find him on Facebook in USA Freshwater Fish and Shrimp. He actually bred some, won uh, the Shrimp King Award a couple years back. Kim Yawarski says, hey Lucas, any plans for the fourth? Um. Oh yeah, good thing that you mentioned that. By the way, anybody who ordered this last week, I don't think I'm going to be doing shipping this week because 4th of July actually falls on the night I do my shipping. And then plus, I don't know if they run on Wednesday on the 4th and I don't want to end up having any issues or hiccups with them taking longer than they need to. So I'll be shipping next week, but... I don't know. I it is Independence Day, so I may actually hang out with my neighbor. He's going to shoot some fireworks and just hang out with the family and take my family over there and hang out with him. Just kind of take it easy and hang out. Jack of all fish, but I may even make a video for you guys cuz I'll have all day to do that and I'm planning on working my I'm trying to catch up on that gutter system, so Oh, there goes some more sand. So, uh, yeah, I, I got to catch up on that gutter system. So that'll end up taking some of my time on Wednesday. Because luckily my girl doesn't have to do that. Jack of all fish, why do you paint three sides of your shrimp tanks? It's just, uh, it, all my tanks aren't always shrimp tanks and they're not always fish tanks. Things do change around. I'm not even quite sure, 100% sure where I'm wanting it. Like some tanks yeah they're settled in what they should be but most of them for the majority aren't organized to where i want them to be do shrimp like like hornwort i have a huge clump in my tank yeah it's kind of like guppy grass yeah it's a lot of surface area for them there he goes spitting more oh here comes jimmy he's got a big bunch oh there he goes there's bob oh now they're going to town on it you guys seeing this build that pyramid all right, let's see. But yeah, I got guppy grass all over the place in my fire red tank, and it's just loaded with shrimp. Do you have problems regulating temps in the garage? Um, mostly in the winter time. So like these bottom tanks, they'll get cold because the cement radiates a lot of the cold. So I will have to heat these bottoms with a heater, which kind of blows. But I'll usually just like... Uh, Sometimes I can get away with the ambient temp of each one and with having the heaters on the bottom and it radiates up to the top ones which keep them warm. Then I've got a uh, oil filled radiator, electric radiator that I plug in to keep it warm in here. And I even cut so, uh, holes. Like This is how hardcore I am. Like I don't even care, dude. I cut a hole up in the ceiling and through the air vent. So now I'll blow some uh, air conditioner in here. I got a couple of holes like that in here. Now I got to do what you got to do. A little quick fix them. All right, let's see. So yeah, you guys saw that. Pretty cool. It doesn't happen often. And I did want to share it with you guys. 
like I've only seen it one other time since I've had it so let me see if I can get a little closer why they do it why they're doing it but it's pretty cool to watch them just sit here watching them build this <laughs> El Arbats Aquatics my buried female shrimp have gone missing are they just hiding in the rock pile yes more than likely Carly that's what happens a lot is those females will go hang out in the rock piles they'll hold on to their babies they'll give them and then next thing you know you got this barrage of shrimp just coming out of the woodworks all right you guys let's check out the fish one more time interrupt their little build here see if we can find that baby i really would like to see that baby again hopefully they didn't eat them i've been trying to keep them fed enough so they want to eat be likely to eat their young but well, hard telling all these shells and they haven't really been eating much i don't know if that's a s sign with shellies if they're about to do something them engineering their sand i don't know if that means anything so anybody who has more experience than me always feel free to let me know in the comments like your experience so I know quite a few people have kept these. This is kind of my first go, but really cool fish. Really fun to watch, really active. And I would recommend them to anybody. So are those tanks on the top 10 G's or 20 G's? So these are 20 gallon highs. These are all 20 gallon highs. Hey, Elderbreds Aquatics, I have painted guppies where both males and females have super long dorsal fins like you were describing. Let me know if you would like a pair on me. Left Coast Fish, dude, hit, hit me up, man. Throw me an email for sure. We'll talk or hit me up on Facebook Messenger. I don't get on Messenger much. Instagram, I do. And anybody who follows me on Instagram, for some reason, Instagram does not want to give me any uh love on posting videos it keeps crashing on me on the app and i haven't been able to post videos i don't post a lot of pictures because a video does a lot more justice than just one picture and for some reason every time i go to submit it it crashes it i got one through the other day and was able to tell people but it took me like 10 tries so it gets real frustrating when you're trying to post stuff which uh speaking of which last night down in this tank, I found a whole colony of purple shrimp, Neocaridinia, so that'll probably be coming in the future. CPT tank, tanks cleaned up. We'll probably be doing something on that in the future. We got all kinds of stuff. Hopefully these live videos will uh, start doing some quality justice compared to what it used to do. Garage lighting still horrible. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot better. All right, so I appreciate you guys all hanging out and glad I could actually catch that on live and them doing it because you know how stubborn fish can be sometimes. But as always, it's been fun. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Hopefully you do it. Show me some love. Got Patreon going on too. That helps out so much and I want to give them all a big shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all you Patreons. Like, you don't know how much that helps me, like, big time. All right, everybody. So, till next time, everybody. Peace.